Welcome to Corel Show. Corel Show is a fun and easy to use presentations program. When Corel Show opens, you'll notice the interface is very similar to that of Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. It's very similar to Corel Write and Corel Calculate as well, meaning that if you're familiar with one program in Corel Home Office, you're familiar with them all. The Shapes menu here, for example, is the same in all three applications. Also, you have a Slide Master. This is a helpful tool when creating long presentations where you want a particular phrase or image to appear on every slide. Whatever you put on your Slide Master will appear on all slides. And you have a Slide Sorter for organizing your slides. Let's open a file. I'm going to use the Recent Files and Folders flyout over here. This can also be docked. Whenever you need it again, just put your mouse over it and the task pane will open. You can use the same task pane for spelling and matching the language of the spell checker to the text you want to spell check. You can also use the task pane to choose slide masters, backgrounds, and layout designs. For now, we're going to use it to open a recent file called Winery Slideshow. You can quickly select text and change the font's look and feel by selecting one of the fonts that is visible in the drop-down menu. Let's choose a font that matches the font next to the wine glass. We'll try a 52-point size. I'd like to insert a new slide. I'll right-click over here in the sorter and then choose New Slide. Now when I select a new slide, the Task Manager automatically knows that I want to select a layout. So I'm going to select a slide layout that will let me insert some pictures at the same time. With this layout, when I double-click on the slide, it offers a dialog box to select a picture. Let's find a photograph to insert here. It automatically scales it to fit. Let's get a second photograph while we're doing that. And I could also rotate these if I wanted to if they came in sideways. You'll notice that a new tab called Drawing Tools appears when I have a photo selected. This will let me do things like rotate and flip, or if I need to group items. Also, if I have multiple photographs selected, I can align them. I can also control the order of what appears at the front, on the top layer, and what is sent to the back layer. Having text appear over top of a picture is one example of bringing to front. The shape outline appears when you have text or graphics selected. I can choose a color for the shape outline if I want to add a border to my text or picture. To finish, let's add a title to this page. Let's select that text and make it the same font as we did earlier. We'll scroll down and select the Spring LP Light font. and we'll make that 50 point size by typing the number in here. One last change. Using the slide sorter over on the left hand side, we'll select a slide and move it to a new position. Let's use the slide sorter in this top view to take slide number three and move it to become slide number two. Now let's go back to the normal view Click on the first page and play the slideshow to see what we've created.